welcome to 10 more tips and tricks for the infected. Tip 1. A floating bed. Is it possible? In my first tips and tricks video, I guess you could say I clickbaited you with a floating bed. Although, it wasn't clickbait. Because that's right, you can actually make a floating bed and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first way is by grabbing a foundation and just placing it and then placing the bed on top and then deleting the foundation and now you have a floating bed. However, if foundations are too expensive for you, you can just use storage containers. You don't even have to make new ones, you can just use storage containers you already have. But the benefit to using a foundation is you can choose the height. It can be as high or as low as you want it to be. This is an example of me making it as low as possible instead of higher or on the normal level. Tip 2. Anything's a weapon. So you obviously know you can use bows, spears, crossbows and katanas as weapons. But you can also use your axe and you can also use your pickaxe which is just crazy but makes sense so if it's a tool or weapon in the game you can use it as a weapon the only thing you can't use are your hands a stick and the torch for some reason i think you should be able to use the torch to be able to light an enemy on fire but that's a whole nother mechanic the developers will have to include so yes, those are everything you can use and can't use as a weapon if you're ever in a sticky situation. And no point wasting a good bear, right? Tip number three, wash your hands. So ideally, if you have a sink and a water house hooked up, use the sink every time. It's just easier, better, simpler. The next best thing is to definitely use the closest lake or pond to wash your hands in. Under no circumstances ever wash your hands using your water bottle. There is no reason to ever, unless you have dirty water in there only, it uses up all your water. You'll have 200 water, you'll wash your hands and it'll go to zero. Tip four, bleeding out. Whenever you shoot any animal with an arrow or throw a spear and hit any animal with the spear, whether it's a raccoon, a deer, a bear, etc., that animal will begin to bleed out. It takes longer depending on the animal and how many times you shot it and with what, but it will eventually bleed out. This can be a good way to get animals if you don't have many arrows. However, I highly recommend you do not throw a steel spear as most likely you will not be getting it back. Tip 5. Headshots. Getting headshots in this game is not easy, but it's definitely worth it. A headshot will instantly kill any Bambi and some animals straight away. The easiest way to get a headshot is to move far away from your target, line it up, and shoot at the head. You can also get headshots by throwing a spear at an enemy's head, but just be prepared to lose that spear as you might not get it back. Tip 6. Water. To get water from a lake or pond, you just gotta go over to the lake or pond that you want, you're aiming at the lake or pond and open your backpack with your water bottle in it. Now as you can see, I'm just gonna drink and then empty my water bottle and it's empty and you just drag it over and now it's full. It's pretty simple to do but I didn't know about this and it took me a little while to figure it out and it's really helpful, especially at the start of the game. Tip 7, fish lakes plural. So we all know this fish in this one lake, right next to the big fish, obviously, this one right here. If you didn't know, bonus tip then. Also know this fish in other lakes. This is another lake with fish in it, right over here. So look where their player location is. This lake where I'm currently building my house, there's more fish. This is the third lake with fish in it now, and it's located over here. And this is the last slash fourth lake with fish in it. They are all in the vicinity of the big fish, just keep that in mind. And it's located over here. So far, sadly, I have not found fish in any other locations, in any other ponds, other than these four. However, I really hope they change this in the future and put fish in most or a lot more lakes. Tip 8. Snow Frozen Lake. So whether it's your first winter or your 100th winter like me, 
The tip I gave you earlier about using water from the lake is completely useless now because the lake is frozen. However, what you can do is stare at the ground, open your backpack and drag over your water bottle onto where it says add snow and now you have a full water bottle of water. This is especially useful in winter as you have less means of getting water. Tip 9, ice fishing. So this one's less of a tip and more of an update. Any veterans of the infected will know you used to be able to get fish out of a frozen lake. And while this might be possible every 1 in 1000 chance, if it's even still possible, I just highly recommend stocking up on fish in fall before it gets to winter instead of having to try and do this during winter as it's very annoying. Tip 10, forges. The stone forge, it costs 25 stone, it costs one coal to power it, and it can only smelt one item. The brick forge costs 50 dry bricks and 10 iron ingots to make. It only costs one coal to power it, the same amount as one of these stone forges and can smelt 10 items compared to the one item that the stone forge can smelt. This is how many stone forges you would need to smelt the same amount of items as a brick forge. So my tip is definitely go build a brick forge as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't seen my first tips and tricks video, click the box above or click the top right corner. And if you want more infected videos or guides, go check out my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.